Hey, what's up, YouTube? Sam with the Humble Outliers. Hope you're all having an awesome day, staying safe out there. Today's video is on the difference between property REITs versus mortgage REITs and how this can be a great way for beginners to invest in real estate through the stock market. REIT stocks have gotten hit among the hardest in the market, with many dropping more than over 100%. We will dive into what is the difference between the two and look at potential investment opportunities. But before we start, please smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. It's always hard for the little guys, so any support you can show, I greatly appreciate it. And a quick disclaimer, please remember to do your own research when picking stocks. I am not a financial advisor, and this is meant to be for entertainment purposes only. Also, just a quick update on my M1 Finance portfolio. You can see that as of today, it recovered a little. I've been investing in M1 Finance since December of 2019 to diversify my investing with fractional shares and build a dividend cash flow portfolio. I really like the M1 Finance platform because it's an easy way to automate your investing and you can invest in Google and Amazon with little money. After all, you can buy fractional shares with just as little as $1. All right, guys, so REIT stocks as a whole have gotten absolutely wrecked in the past month. Many popular stocks such as Simon Property Group, Realty Income Corp, Annaly Capital Management, MFA Financial, and AGNC, AGNC Investment Corp have seen dramatic drops. Let's review some key points about the difference between these two types of REITs. As you can see here through M1 Finance, um, the mortgage REITs with a hypothetical investment of $100, looking back from just this first quarter, one quarter, it's down 70%. So you can see that if you were to invest $100, it has gone down to as little as $33. So it's just been decimated. I put in four slices here um, from MIT, AGNC, NLY, and MFA Financial. Here is a snapshot of what looks like for the one quarter for the property REITs with this market downturn. You can see that this is held up a little bit better. It's only down 18.88%. Um, you can see here also that some of the companies that are in there, so it's quite a bit of diversification. I really do like REIT stocks, um, especially O and Digital Realty Trust. Um, but let's go ahead and look into some more of this information. First, let's clarify if you're not familiar with a, what a REIT is. It stands for Real Estate Investment Trust, R-E-I-T-S, which is a type of security in which the company owns and generally operates real estate or real estate related assets. REITs are similar to stocks and can be traded on major market exchanges. REITs allow companies to buy physical real estate property and mortgages. This type of investment option allows you to own a share of real estate that is liquid and allows you to participate in the real estate potential gains. To qualify as a REIT, a company must satisfy many standards such as having at least 100 shareholders, being managed by a board of directors, and paying at least 90% of its taxable income in the form of dividends each year. At least 75% of a REIT's assets must be in real estate, and at least 75% of its gross income must be derived from rents, mortgage interest, or gains from the sale of property. So let's discuss two types of REITs. First, the property or equity REITs, which are involved in buying, selling, managing, and renovating real estate properties. Let's now discuss two types of REITs. First, property or equity REITs, which are involved in buying, selling, managing, and renovating real estate properties. These properties are typically industrial or office-based, retail shopping centers, residential apartments, or condos, hotels, and resorts. Also, property REITs focus on generating revenue through capital appreciation of selling the properties, focusing on maximizing tenant capacity, and collecting rent from tenants and acquiring more real estate in popular locations to maximize revenues. You can see here from Simon Property Group, which is a really popular one, they own many key locations of prime locations for real estate, and they most likely work with, um, you can see here from something like a store of Nordstrom or an LA Fitness type of retail location. So they'll um, rent those out to those tenants and then they'll collect rent from them. In another popular property REIT is Realty Income Corp. This one's pretty popular because they pay a monthly dividend. They have a solid track history, one of the biggest market caps out there for this space. You can see here they focus on real estate for, um, you see prime locations such as for Walmart, Walgreens. They focus on maximizing tenant and collecting rent from those tenants. 
And these property REITs can also include um, industrial space. So this one is digital realty income. This is one I like also prefer as well. This one focuses on data storage for the cloud, which is, you know, as a big market that's growing. Um, so I feel like this one's pretty stable and it wasn't really impacted much from the recent market crash either. Now, in contrast, let's review mortgage REITs. Mortgage REITs generally lend money to real estate buyers or acquire existing mortgages or mortgage-backed securities. While property REITs typically generate their revenue from collecting rent, mortgage REITs, on the other hand, generate their revenues from the interest earned on the mortgage loans. For example, Simon Property Group owns real estate shopping centers and malls and will rent out to, let's say, a retail gym like LA Fitness and will collect rent from them monthly. While Annaly Capital Management loans out money to a real estate developer or generates income from the interest earned on those loans. Another way to look at this is let's say Wells Fargo Bank has a mortgage loan given to a residential homeowner and instead of holding that loan for 30 years, it will essentially package that mortgage loan and terms to Annaly Capital Management and sell that loan value and its monthly interest value at a market rate. This allows the bank to free up its liquidity and lets Annaly Capital Management borrow on margin to acquire that loan with the assumption of collecting monthly interest on the mortgage loan. Let's review some of these common and popular mortgage REIT stocks. You can see here the sticker, ticker symbol NLY is one of the bigger ones at 5.7 and it's down 57% in this past quarter. And then in the past month it's just down 55%. So you can see it's getting pummeled here. AGNC Investment Corp is another popular one. This one focuses primarily on U.S. government backed loans, which has also seemed to be more shielded from this situation. The past month, this one is only this one's down 44%, but it's recovered quite a bit as well. AG Mortgage Investment Trust, or MITT ticker symbol, is another one of these mortgage REIT stocks that has got hit pretty hard. You can see this one's down 90%, all at dollar 92 now. Um, so this looks like there's something with a tremendous opportunity for upside if this thing recovers. And lastly, MFA Financial Incorporated, ticker symbol MFA. This is one of the other popular ones that's going on right now. Um, it's currently down 85% in the past three months. It's at $1.112 right now. I did a video on this just a week ago. Um, this is one that has pretty good analyst reports. It has a really, really good foundation. Um, hopefully when the situation resolves with the market crash and the situation with the virus, that this will recover. I like this company because it would, it did survive the 2008 financial crisis. Obviously, this is a different situation, but it's good that it has had a long-standing history. So based on my research, I personally like property REITs more. I like the idea of those companies owning real estate and having tenants to collect rent on. I plan on investing in more REIT stocks and looking into apartment REITs as well. I have invested in MFA Financial and plan on holding that. Hopefully the market recovers in that situation. If you'd like to see more about this M1 Finance portfolio and the sectors and pies I've created, I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. We both get $10 if you sign up. Um, so hit the subscribe button to learn more about those stocks, uh, their stocks I'll be covering. Um, so what do you guys prefer of the investment options? Do you prefer property REITs or mortgage REITs? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Again, hit that subscribe button to show your support. Thanks. See you all soon.